Before I became a millionaire, one of the most pivotal moments was when I had $100,000 in the bank account. And most financial experts agree that your first $100,000 is the milestone to you becoming a millionaire and then a multimillionaire. The problem is that this is not easy to produce and most people will take forever trying to get here just by saving up money. Are there shortcuts? Hands down there are, which is why today I'm making a video on how do you take $5,000 and parlay it into over $100,000? There's five different great opportunities out there in the world today to help make that possible. Check it out. Today, we're jamming on five ways to invest $5,000. Can you turn it into 10 grand, 50 grand, $100,000 so that you really have some seed capital to invest into something bigger on your journey to becoming a millionaire? Well, that's exactly what we're talking about today. Now, let's talk about this. Your first $100,000, this pesky amount of money, this milestone that you gotta meet, you heard of Warren Buffett, right? Did you know he has a business partner? His name is Charlie Munger. This is kind of like the brains behind the brains of Warren Buffett, and this is what he has to say. That first $100,000 is the first milestone in becoming financially free, but as Charlie Munger says, it's a beach, but you gotta do it. On average, it takes an American adult 7.84 years to save that $100,000 or 80 years to make their first million. I don't know about you, but an 80 year plan is too long of a plan. If you have $5,000 saved, do not seek to make passive income yet. It's not about rolling that into like real estate. Instead, you gotta be asking, how do I turn this into opportunities that produce active income. So yeah, we're not necessarily talking about full-fledged business, but we're talking about side hustles. We're talking about places where you can put your money and get a pretty awesome return pretty dang quick. If I had $5,000 in Boston vending machines, they would not be filled with Doritos and Ritz crackers and Cheetos. Well, sadly that is probably what sells and what will make you some money, but um, you gotta be careful how much of this you absolutely consume. Vending machines can be purchased and stocked for as little as $5,000. And while returns are not guaranteed, those who find a good location and stock it with the right snacks can stand to make a pretty hefty profit. And over the years I've met some buddies, they're like, I started with a vending machine and then I had 20 vending machines and then I had 100 vending machines. It actually turned into some pretty real income, but it doesn't take a whole lot to get started, so might be worth looking at. Here's one. This one is called STR or short-term rental arbitrage. Now, automatically you gotta be thinking, blah, 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 the arb, but what? Here's what we're talking about. Imagine if you owned a home and you could Airbnb it. If you just rent it, maybe you get 1,500 a month, 2,000 a month. But if you Airbnb it, you might get three, four, five, or six hundred dollars a night. There could be an opportunity to have that rented out half the time and pulling in, you know, five, six thousand dollars a month instead of just renting it two thousand dollars a month. But Chris, can you really get into real estate like that for five thousand dollars? That sounds kind of crazy. If you don't have money to buy a property to Airbnb, you still have some options. Short-term rental arbitrage is a technique where you get to rent a long-term rental and with permission from the owner, listed on sites like Airbnb and VRBO. That $5,000 can pay for some refurbishments for the first month's rent, and after that, the property could be paying for itself. So I want you to think about that. It's like, wait a second, instead of owning the property, I'm gonna leverage the property, I'm gonna go and say, hey, I would like to rent this property for the 2,000 a month, and you've done your research, instead you get their permission, you put it up on Airbnb, you rent it out at three, four, five hundred dollars a night, and at the end of the month, you still owe them the rent, but it's made a few thousand dollars on top of that. Are there people out there that do that? Oh, I guarantee you there are. And it's another option that gets you in the game where it's not about ownership, it's about access. Now, as I share these five different side hustles, I want you to know that I am saving the best for last. And yes, you might've guessed it. It is in the link below with a lot of detail on how $5,000 can go a really long way. But let's jump back into the game. We're talking about number three here, buying a small franchise. Did you know that there are companies where a very little can go a very long way? There are plenty of small franchises or affiliate marketing programs, which you can buy into for under $5,000. While these are not all created equal, selling someone else's hard work can be a great way to earn income. 
Let me tell you what I love about franchise. Someone else invented the business, they figured out how to make money with the business, and they thought to themselves, man, the world needs this company. I see this in 10,000 locations. But they think to themselves, I don't know in my lifetime how I'm going to get it out there 10,000 times and ways. So they franchise it and they basically say, hey, you can keep most of the money, but you gotta give me a royalty. Let me give you the business, the system, the et cetera. Do these exist? These exist. Here's a fourth option, lease options. Lease options are a rental strategy which allows the owner of a home to collect a down payment from the renter in exchange for the option to buy the home in the future. For those who are creative enough, this payment can be used to fund the majority of the purchase of the home and you may need as little as $5,000 of your own money to get in. Someone is renting this house. It's not a toy house. Imagine it's a real house. And they're saying, I'm gonna rent this for $1,400 a month. And you've figured that that's a little bit low on the rental, it could go for more, so you sign maybe a five-year contract, a long-term contract. And then what you do is you turn around and remarket it and say, rent to own. I literally wrote a book about this. And you put a sign in the yard and families start calling saying, hey, I, I can't get approved with the bank. Can I do a rent to own? They're gonna give you a five, seven, ten thousand dollar down payment to get into this home, and they're not gonna pay fourteen hundred dollar a month rent. They might be paying eighteen hundred or two thousand. Well, that means that you collect that large non-refundable payment of five, seven, ten thousand dollars up front for you. It means that there's between the fourteen hundred dollars that you owe for renting the place and now you're subletting it at, let's call it $1,900 a month, that's $500 spread. Now you're making $500 every single month, it's fully passive, and you're crushing it. This is another way where a small amount of money can go a really long way. Did you know that there's a whole lot of companies out there that are missing traffic? They're like, oh no, we wish we had more sales, but we don't know how to do online advertising. And I'm like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? That's like one of the dumbest and easiest businesses that you can spin up. Check this out. More than 29% of small businesses still don't even have a website. You can leverage this to your advantage by running Google ads or social media campaigns and selling leads to their businesses that are deeply in need and need some traffic and are trying to figure out in an economy like this how to win bigger, how to win more. And so this is a great one because it doesn't even take $5,000. It might take one or $2,000 and you're up and going, you're off to the races and I get what you're thinking. But Chris, I don't really know how to do that. In a moment, I'm gonna solve that for you. Well, I told you that I would save the best for last and you guessed it. In the link below, I'm sharing my favorite hustle. And basically what it is, is it's a combination of generating really cheap leads online for people in businesses where those leads are worth a lot of money. And I'm talking about brokering leads where you could make $500 or $5,000. And yes, I have people making more money than that. So what's cool is that it's a business that only takes one or two hours a day at most, but it has the power to replace a full-time income. And what I love about that is the money that I make, but I also love the time that I'm reclaiming. If you're interested in figuring out some of the best paying hustles then I want you to click that link below. I've got a masterclass set up for you. Click the link, watch it. And it's gonna be mind blowing because this might be the very solution that you've been looking for on how to take a small amount of money and turn it into something epic. Are you an overachiever? Like instead of one of those humans that's like, oh yeah, I'd love to work 50 years of my life and retire in my 70s. Dude, I'd love to get it done in my 30s. I'm telling you right now that with the right mentorship, with the right track record and the right system, that's very possible. If you'd love to be 30 and retired, you're definitely gonna wanna watch this video right here.